All right, so in this video, we're going to be finding the area between two curves. Uh, again, we're going to be using um, definite integrals, just like the last video, and um, on a set interval. So let's just draw in, um, let's make this let's zoom in really far, I guess. Uh, let's say this is 1, this is 0, and uh, let's say this is 1. What we want to do is we want to find the area between two curves. Let's say one is going to be y is equal to, let's, say, let's do it easy, let's say x squared. And the other one we want to find is y is equal to um, x cubed. So what it's basically going to look like is they're both going to go through this point. Um, and x cubed will, or x squared will look something like this. <laughs> uh, it's, it'll go through a really big point and go up like that. All right, and then x cubed is, it kind of goes out this way and then it cuts up faster at a steeper angle. And it'll go up like that and x squared will kind of go off like that. Okay, so let's label these before we get lost. Um, the top one here, um, on our inter the one that's on the top in our interval, uh, that's going to be between 0 and 1 is y is equal to x squared. And the one on the bottom here is y is equal to um, x cubed. Okay, so now the way we do this, uh, the way that we find the area between these two curves, uh, we want this guy, color of blue, we want this area. Um, so how we do that, it's so similar to the, the previous one for just finding the area under a curve, it's just slightly different. Um, so we have, uh, we have B and A, and again, B is the one, uh, the right-hand um, edge of our limit, and A is going to be the left-hand edge of our limit. And so, sorry, we want to find this on the interval, we'll set it to 0, 1. Okay, so then we're going to write how it is, is uh, it's going to be f at x minus g at x, g at x, uh, dx. Okay, and what this is, is the, the line that's on top is going to be our f at x, and the line that's on the bottom is going to be our g at x. That's all it is. And then we'll take the antiderivative of both, and then substitute in our interval numbers, and then it's just like the last one. It's, uh, it's just like finding the area under a curve. So let's do it. That's uh, super easy. Um, so we'll write it like this. So we know that 1 is here and 0 is here. And then, uh, so if we have, we'll do it like this, x squared minus x cubed dx uh, is going to be equal to, well, this is going to be 3x uh, to the 1 third. Yeah, so our Sorry, one third times x to the three. There we go. Got that mixed up. That's the uh, using the power rule and antiderivatives. Uh, and then the next one is going to be x to the power of fourth uh, times one fourth. So this will be minus one fourth times x to the power of four. Now this is on our closed interval of one and zero. And then when we substitute in our one and our zero, it's going to look like this. Um, we're going to substitute in here. It'll be one third times one cubed minus one fourth. It's not an exclamation mark. One fourth times one uh, to the power of four. Now this is going to be minus all of this again, but it'll be uh, we're running out of space. One third times zero cubed minus one fourth times zero to the power of four. Whatever. Uh, this is just going to be zero. That's kind of the point. Uh, so it's okay that it's messy. And so basically we'll just sub these in and we'll get this is equal to one third minus one fourth, which is equal to one twelfth. And there you go. That's how you find the area between two curves. Uh, it's so simple, uh, so similar to the finding the area under the curve. And so we just have, uh, in this case, on this interval, the area between these two curves uh, is one Twelfth square units, and also the other thing: make sure when you're finding the area between two curves, is you want to make sure it's between two points of intersection like this, and uh, and that's all I really have to say about this example. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.